This is Eugene Panrudkiewicz on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Latitude E6520 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Dell Latitude E6520 laptop. Okay, before we do anything with this computer or any other computer, we'll make sure it's unplugged from the power source and also we remove the battery. There's two levers. One unlocks it on the left side right here and one you slide out and then there's a little bar that you grab the battery with and you tilt the battery up and you take it out like so. Now that the battery's out, the laptop is safe to work with. Uh, while we're still on the bottom, I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to show you how to find the part number for this laptop. It's a little bit hard because you don't see it in the front unless you have the sticker that you got when it's brand new or the box. But if you don't have either of those, it's right up here. It says Dell Latitude, or it says Latitude E6520. Okay, so now we got that out of the way. Let's flip the laptop over and let's move on. So before we start, I'm going to show you the tools that we're going to need to do the job. We have a electronics screwdriver with size PH1 head. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size of the Phillips head. We have a smaller Phillips screwdriver, either a PH0 or a PH00 for smaller screws. We have an X-Acto knife to remove any screw covers, but this one doesn't have any, so we probably won't use this. And we also have some uh, metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck. And we also have a flathead screwdriver, but we won't use it for this laptop. Okay, let's start. With most laptop computers, you have to remove the screen bezel. And in order to remove the screen bezel, you have to remove some screws that are securing the screen bezel to the screen assembly. But in the case of this particular laptop, and actually most newer Dell laptops as of early 2012, they don't have any screws that are securing the screen bezel to the screen assembly. And this is the screen bezel, the plastic frame that surrounds the screen. So, what you do is just snap the screen bezel off. What I like to do is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting it off and listen for snapping sounds. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. For this particular one, it's easy, but it can be harder for you if there's some adhesive there. So we just lift it up and we remove the screen bezel all together. All right, let's take a look at what we have now. Uh, this screen is mounted on some uh, metal mounting brackets, and the metal mounting brackets are mounted to the screen. So with this particular type of screen, what we do is we remove the metal mounting brackets and remove it together with the screen. And the way you do that is remove these two screws at the top right here and two screws on each side on the bottom for a total of six screws. So let's get started. When you're doing this, make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit. So once because once you remove all the screws, you don't want the screen to fall forward on you and perhaps damage some things. Okay, we get to the screws on the bottom. And for each step, for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile. And I want to arrange the piles in the order in which they were removed. And that helps me keep track of which screws go where when I put the laptop or the screen back together again. Okay, so now once all the screws are removed, we we'll use our fingertips or fingernails to gently take the whole screen assembly and slowly put it put it down like so. And what we want to do next 
is remove these metal brackets from the screen. So for this, there's two screws on each side. Let me show you without damaging anything. There's one screw here and one screw here. So we remove these two screws like so. One. And let me show you, in this particular case, I do something different to keep track of what goes where. Once we remove the screws, I take the metal bracket and I carefully put it on the side of the laptop in the exact same position that it was mounted on the screen. Uh, if you start twisting around and moving it, you'll be surprised how many different combinations of positions it can still mount, but it won't fit back into the laptop. So just try to keep everything the same as when you took it off from the screen. And I have the screws right next to where they're supposed to go. And I'm learning to use my left hand to remove screws so I can make better videos. Okay, so we put carefully put the middle mounting bracket like this. All right, so next we remove the connector from the screen. There's only one connector. And it's in this location. It's a 15.6 inch LED screen. They're almost always in the same position. So there's some adhesive tape covering the connector. And we lift it up with our X-Acto knife and gently lift up the adhesive tape. And also there's some yellow adhesive tape that's securing the video cable. So you can do one of two things. You can either cut it or you can lift it up also. So either one is okay. I'm gonna lift it up just to keep things as close as possible to what they were before. Okay, next there's some adhesive on the back of the video cable. We lift that up like so. And once we lift up all the tapes and adhesive, we gently pull the video cable back and separate it from the connector, like so. All right, before we go any further, I'm gonna reconnect it again to show you how to reconnect it because people have trouble with this step. When you reconnect it, you'll feel two clicks on there. You won't hear it, but you'll feel it. And there should be no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. So I'm gonna show you what a proper connection should look like. If I can get a good focus right here. All right, so pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks exactly like this. Make sure there's no gap in the seam. All right, let's keep moving. And once again, we pull the connector out and we take a look at the screen. Okay, the screen is a 15.6 inch LED screen. And we lost focus, so let's get our focus back. There we go. It's a 15.6 inch LED screen with a connector in this position, which is a common one. And as of early 2012, this is the most common screen available for, or that's used in laptop computers. So you should not have any trouble finding it, but I'm having trouble maintaining focus. So let's try to tilt it a little bit. And let's take a look at the part number. And once again, okay, B156XW02. That's the part number you're looking for, B156XW02. Okay, then one more thing about this particular screen is this screen has a matte finish. It has a more like a rougher type finish on the surface as compared to a glossy finish that you'll find in most laptop screens. The glossy and the matte screens are totally interchangeable, so you can put one in place of the other, and mostly it's a personal preference. Uh, what I found is that matte screens usually work better outdoors and glossy screens 
screens usually work better indoors, but mostly it's personal preference. Now, uh, if you do insist on a matte screen when you order it, you have to make sure that it says somewhere that the screen you're ordering is matte screen because the default screen, the screen that will most likely be shipped to you, will be a glossy screen. Okay, uh, you can also order this screen from us. Uh, we do not stock matte screen, so we would ship you a glossy screen. Now, if you do want to order from us, uh, what we provide is free email technical support with with our uh, all our screens when you do the installations. We also have a compatibility guarantee. If the screen we ship to you is not compatible, we'll take it back and ship you another one. And also, we ship to globally. If you're not in the United States, we can most likely ship to your country. To order a screen from us, go to screensurgeons.com. Click on buy a screen and then you'll go to a to a screen where it says where it will ask you for your laptop model number and it'll ask you for email. Once you give this this information, we'll send you back a link with the link to the right screen to buy. Okay, um, once you do receive the screen and before we go on, just one more thing. Uh, if you do not have the proper tools at home to do the installation, we also sell this toolkit with all the tools necessary to do the screen replacement, and that will be an option when you buy a screen from us. Okay, when you do receive the screen, make sure it's the connection in the right place and it's the right form factor. Then you put the connector back in. Put the metal mounting, mounting brackets exactly as they were before. Put the screws in. Then put the whole screen assembly on. Put the six screws that are holding the metal mounting brackets to the back of the screen assembly. And then you just snap on the screen bezel and that's it. So this one is fairly simple so you can easily replace the screen of this laptop at home. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.